I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on the ice shacks and the ongoings when you're here. Um, when you come in, everything should be neat and tidy. Uh, the chairs can be left out, that's fine. There will be some tools on the windowsill and in the tote. That tote will have some snacks, coffee, sugar, um, plastic utensils, paper plates, a couple camping mugs, um, some cookware, basic, basic stuff. Um, you have your beds. Those just wheel out and fold down. There's a light there. There is two battery operated lights, also magnetic. They go on the door. You can use them however you see fit. There's a broom and dustpan in the corner. You should sweep a couple times a day to keep the snow and, and stuff down. Again, fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide detector. Simply push for test. Um, I stayed in it all weekend, no issues. Tested it for a week, no issues. Um, the cooker. Simply hook it up just like your barbecue grill. Pliers, just to turn it on to low and just light that with a barbecue lighter that is in the tote. Um, there's a kettle for, for instant coffee. Um, if you are cooking anything fatty, please do so in moderation and cook at low temperatures. Do not turn this on high. It is way too high to cook inside with. You cook on low. Pull it away from the wall in each direction about a foot. You should not be cooking anything against the wall. Again, fire extinguisher. Leave it out. Do not put it away, please. Uh, clothes you can hang here. Just light, normal size clothing. Obviously, not when the stove is on. The monitor, like right now it's out. You come over, turn it to pilot. Push down. You are purging the air out of the line. While you're pushing that down, hit the igniter. Whoop. Pilot lights going. You're good. Simply turn it to one. That's it. Your pilot light should always be on. If it's really cold, like this weekend was zero and 20 below with wind chill, you can turn it to two. There is no need to turn it past two, in my opinion. Do not put clothes on top of it. Do not hang anything over it, please. Your heat comes right here. The backside is cold. The heat's right here. Do not put anything in front of it or don't lean up against it. Again, fire extinguisher is right there. The propane is outside. You need this. Just gently thread it in and tighten it up. Turn your gas on, come inside. Turn it from off to pilot, press down, hold it 10 seconds, and hit the igniter button. Your pilot light comes on, simply turn it to one or two. It will shut off when it reaches temperature. Um, in the daytime, I'd leave it at one. If it's really cold too, and at night, I would leave it at one because you'll be in your sleeping bag. There's no need to turn the heat up. Um, there is some general instructions right here and some general rules. Please, no smoking. I don't need... This is all brand new equipment. This shack is brand new. The beds are brand new. There's pillows with cases right in here. Bring your own sleeping bag. You will want to bring a couple gallons of water for dishes, coffee, cooking, um, and drinking. Um, anything you bring with you needs to leave. Trash, recyclables. I don't want your nickels. Take your trash and your recyclables with you. My father left some crackers here today, but 
as a general rule, take it with you. Um, if you find yourself in dire need to leave it, try to put it away in the tote. Um, if you come across any damages when you get here, text a picture of it to me. Please, as soon as possible. Um, and we'll try to get it resolved or talk to the people that were here before. But uh, communication is key. When you use, I don't even care about this entry, the deadbolt. Please lock the deadbolt. Um, the deadbolt, in my opinion, will do more than that knob ever will. And again, when you leave, you shut this off. You shut the tank off outside. You disconnect it. You shut this off whenever you're not using it, and you disconnect it. And in the daytime, unless you're cooking, there should be no propane tanks inside. There should be no gasoline inside. Again, fire extinguisher is right here. So, uh, propane tanks, just put them outside with your gasoline. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to turn it back to pilot. And now, I'm just going to shut this off. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to shut this off. Everything comes off fairly easily. You should not have to force anything. If you're forcing it, you're probably cross-threading it. When I leave, I'm going to put a sandwich baggie on this end so that it's not getting covered in snow so please cover everything up i'm going to store these inside because i'm leaving but other than that they should not be um they should not be inside all right thank you and anybody that rents the ice shack have fun again my phone number is 207-691-7524 thank you